Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. This week, I'm going to be teaching you about Logoist 4 from Cinium Software. And we're going to take a little different angle in this tutorial. Instead of starting with an application and explaining all of the features, this is going to be more of a project that uses this tool. The project I needed to do was to create a book cover for a book some friends of mine and I created. The book is called Taming the Terminal, and it's all about how to use the macOS command line. The instructions are all written by Bart Bouchatz, and it also includes a podcast by Bart and me, and the book was created by Dr. Helma Vanderlinden. I wanted to make a cover for this book so that it would look really good in the Apple bookstore, so I had to follow their guidelines. There was only one problem. I have absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever. In spite of that, this is the book cover I designed for the Taming the Terminal book. Now, the right way to design something like this is with a vector design program. I own the $50 Affinity Designer, and I also have the free Vectornator application. Both of these are incredibly capable applications. The problem is they open with a blank canvas, and I don't have any kind of a vision yet in my head what I want, because, again, I don't have any artistic talent. Instead, I chose to use Logoist. Logoist, you might think, is just for making logos, but it is so much more capable than that, and it is, in fact, a vector design program. Logoist is $40 on the Mac App Store, but if you look over at CineumSoftware.com, you can get a free trial and see whether Logoist inspires your imagination as well as it did for me. When you first launch Logoist 4, you'll be starting with some presets. You can start a new blank document if you prefer, but we would really like to get some inspiration. Let me show you a couple of the tabs here that we're actually not going to stick around and go through, but we have a showcase, and this is basically people showing off some pretty amazing work they've done. Again, I don't have that kind of talent, but we've got card presets, so you can make cards from this application. You can make business cards. There's some logo presets you can start with. There are photo presets. And finally, you would have recent documents if you had created any yet in Logoist 4. We're going to start with 123 Logo. And I know this sounds like it's kind of cheesy, but it's amazing how well they walk you through creating something that becomes imaginative and becomes your own, even though they're helping a lot. Let's start by entering the name for the book. It's going to be Taming the Terminal. And then we want to enter the initials down here. Down below, you can see that we could create a new document, like I mentioned before. You can open an existing Logoist document, or you can vectorize a pixel graphic that you'd like to edit in Logoist 4. You can sign up for the newsletter, and there's a user guide. This user guide is fantastic. They've got excellent step-by-step -step instructions and explanations, including screenshots. I really like the user guide. And you could also quit from here. But let's tap the right chevron and take the next step. I'll just paste a tagline in here. Master the Mac OS command line. And now I'll tap the chevron to the right. At this point, we are immediately faced with some inspiration on how to start creating our document. Now remember, Logoist 4 is designed for doing logos, but it is going to do much, much more for us. But for right now, this is concentrated on trying to get you some ideas to create a logo. What's amazing here is how many options there are just to stimulate your imagination at this point. So we're in frames, which is, tends to be framing the title, and these options focus on the name you entered and are not using the initials. But if I start to scroll down, keep going, keep going, keep going, we get to the classic section. This is a little more conservative and also is kind of classy looking and focuses on the name and the tagline in some cases. Let's keep going down. We've got futuristic. The font's starting to get kind of funky here and stylistic. We can keep going. We get down to the stacked options. This is the one that caught my attention when I first looked at Logoist and started creating the book cover. But let's keep going. We've got font effects. They're starting to get a little more creative on the fonts. We're going to go down, keep going, keep going, keep going. We've got emphasized letters. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. 
all of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.